Thank you. Uh, question number 14 in the name of Deputy Clare Daly. I propose to take questions number 14 and 42 together. Great. I, can con I can confirm for the Deputy that my department is considering an application for additional classroom accommodation to meet an increase in pupil enrolments in respect of the school to which he refers. This application is currently being assessed and my officials will be in further contact with the school authority. In that connection, I do not consider a meeting as requested is necessary at this time. The school, the school concerned has also had an application with my department for a major school project involving school refurbishment and the replacement of temporary accommodation. As the deputy will be aware, the delivery of school projects in those areas where most demographic growth has been identified will be the main focus for capital investment over the five-year plan. In this regard, the area referred to by the deputy has not been identified as an area of significant demographic growth. Projections indicate that pupil enrollments will remain relatively stable for the foreseeable future. It is not possible, therefore, to indicate at this point whether a further project for the school in question will be progressed. Deputy Daly. Thanks, Kim Corla, and I think it is obviously a matter of, of deep concern for parents and children in the general Malahide area. And despite what the minister says in his answer in terms of numbers, and growth in the area. In fact, the school is now faced for the first time at having to refuse 40 infants from attendance there uh, next September, which has caused uh, a lot of problems. And one of the things that the parent body and the school staff would say is that this growth has actually been anticipated. And I know that the minister has said he is examining the application for temporary accommodation, but one of the reasons why the school is struggling is because of the deplorable condition of the existing temporary facilities that are there and the fact that that has been almost used against them, the fact that they have some provision, albeit a very poor provision, that that has been a reason why they haven't been uh, favourably looked on for more secure form of extension or better uh, premises and, and the premises are quite of a very poor standard anyway but I think the pressing demand and there is a, a meeting there tonight and what parents and, and staff need to know is what is the time scale of the application that it's in front of you at the moment if you're not in a position to meet them now um, will that situation be revised or when will they have an indication could we see something in place so that those 40 students could be accommodated by uh, September of this year Thank you, Deputy Minister. I can't at this point in time, Deputy, regrettably give you a concrete response to the questions you've raised, uh, but I will look at the issue again and try and get additional information for you as soon as possible. 